So the project I'm working on today is a deck and I'm putting on a the upper railing part before I put the verticals down here and I'm using a Craig jig to tie in these end pieces. So I thought it'd be really cool to show a really quick tutorial on how to get these perfectly sunken screw heads. So when you finish your deck from the interior, you have this nice recessed screw look. And of course you see I've got my corners up here mitered to 45s on top of some 4x4s on an elevated platform here. So let me show you. We take our measurement here, we'll go to this next one. We take our measurement here, and this happens to be 44 and 5 8 inches. We go over here to our, our uh, saw horses, we measure out 44 and 5 8 inches. We cut it, and then we go ahead and drill those holes. And here we are, 44 and 5 8 Make our mark. Throw our speed square up. And draw our line across. We've got our piece cut. We use this device here. It's made by a company called Craig. You can get this at Home Depot or pretty much any uh, hardware store now. I am not paid promotion with these guys. I just really like the tool. So, uh, hey Craig Jig, if you see this, yeah, I could use a few more tools. Uh, but you go ahead and set it to inch and a half because that's your standard uh, two by four thickness. And then you'll use these two holes here and here. And I'll show you the drill bit here in just a second. Piece fits right over the end of the two by four. And you can see we're lined up perfectly to drill those holes. So you get this drill bit that comes with it. I also like to use the little DeWalt uh, brushless 12 volt. <clears throat> it's my favorite one for this type of job. And you get this bit right here. It's got a shoulder on it. And it's got different lengths that you can set it to. I've got mine set all the way on the highest one. And it's just a little collar with an Allen wrench and a quick disconnect. You can see that the tip of the drill bit has a smaller bit that comes off to give you the pilot hole for the screw. sawdust from the drill holes comes out these little ports here and here and when you remove it you'll have this two perfectly drilled holes and you can take your deck screws start them here and here and repeat the process on the other end pre-start your holes with your drill and I use this uh, T25 Torx. I don't know if you can see that right there. Yeah, there we go. This is so neat is once we have our board fitted into place, simply put our screw gun on these, let them go. Nice clean finish, perfectly hidden screw heads. And then we'll go along the top here and insert some more screws on the top rail. There is our finished product. Take a look at that. So anyway, that's one idea of how to finish the top rail using a Craig jig on a deck. Hope this helps someone. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and like. And uh, tell a friend.